At guard, a junior number two, Kate Quintana. At guard, a senior number 22, Ryan Hewitt. At guard, a senior number four, Rhett Hunter. At forward, a senior number 10, Jace Ward. And at forward, a senior number 24, Landon Koza. Now for the home team on school board, okay, Ryan Ward, starting Spiro their Wallace. seniors. It's not their regular starting five. At guard, a junior number 14, Ethan Robbins. At guard, a junior number 18, Braxton Peterson. At forward, a senior number 21, Carter Reed. And at forward, a senior number 20, Brayden Riggs. Just go to the Bulldogs and Brayden Cox and hit with his best of hits. Boys game, third place action between Whitesboro and Spyro. Starts off with a basket by number 24, Landon Causal. And number three, Brandon Hammondtree. Coming into the game. Coming into the game for Watts Bros, number 11, Kyle Johnson, for number 24, Landon Causal. It's 2-2, two to two. seven and a half minutes left in the first quarter. We are 30 seconds in, and Spyro is going to start off in a man-to-man -man defense. Watts Bros working the outside, looking down low. It's guarded well so far. Ward's pass over. Cross court, now a travel violation on number four, Hunter. Brett Hunter traveled with it. And Wattsboro's in a man themselves, so it's going to be man on man, best on best, right here between both Bulldogs in the county. Spyro versus Wattsboro. Hammond Tree. Gets it to Peterson. Now it's in the corner looking down low. And guarded well so far for Wattsboro. Now a steal attempt. Now it's four on five. And Wattsboro comes up with a steal after the failed steal attempt. Corner three. Shots up. No good. Rebound by Wattsboro. And we got a jump ball. It's going to go to Spyro. And that was number 11. Kyle Johnson flying high for Wattsboro. But it was tied up by Spyro now. The, the North Bulldogs will have it, and we have a foul. Going to go against number 10, Jace Ward. And Peterson's going to get it. Signaling for Hammondtree. Hammondtree, now there's a cutter. It's number 21. It was Reed. Spyro gets it back after two offensive rebounds. Hammondry has it. Three is up. It rattles out. Rebound goes to Ward for the Wattsboro Bulldogs. Up court pass. Two point basket. Number 22, Ryan Hewitt gets on the scoreboard. Hammondry has it, looking down low. Riggs lost it. Could have been a double dribble. They're going to say there's no possession on it. He lost possession. And it's going to go to Wattsboro. So, a pretty good neutral site between Spyro and Wattsboro meeting up here at Hevener for the third place game 
in the 2021 the Florida County Tournament on the boys' side. The finals tonight will be between Howe and Panama. A corner three is up and in. Number two, Caden Kincannon. And Hammetree gets it to Reed over to Peterson. Now it's in the corner with Robbins. Robbins pump fakes, gets it to Hammetree. He swings it. Robbins three is high, arcing off the back of the rim. No good. Rebound goes to Jace Ward. He's going right at Reed. <laughs> Reed picked it. Up court pass to Riggs. Let's it bounce, and we have a two point basket. Braden Riggs gets on the scoreboard. He had a huge night when he even visited Spyro earlier in the year. And. Now down low, shots up by Hewitt, and it's in. Awkward looking shot, but it went in. For number 22, Ryan Hewitt, nine to four. Four and a half to go in the first quarter. Peterson looking down low to Riggs. He's too far under, and he missed it. He got too far under the basket for it to be good. That's got to be a travel. Oh, my. And a steal, and now another steal. Peterson has it. It's three on three. He's going. It's up. No good. Rebound Hewitt. And the tempo is going to be slowed down by Ken Cannon. A double screen. Pull up jumper. No good. Rebound Robbins. Whitesboro still in the man. Robbins high arcing three again. This one's a little off off the backboard. Rebound goes to Ward. Pull up from the free throw line, and everybody thought he was shooting it, but he tried to pass it to Hewitt at the last second. His, he was a wide open cutter, but Hewitt was going to rebound, and it's going to go out of bounds and be Spyro's basketball. Three and a half left in the first quarter. Here in Hevener's Wolf Den Gymnasium. Peterson's going to the left side looking for Riggs. Now it's Hammetry at the top of the key. He dribbles to the right, gets in the corner, gets it to Robbins. He's going left. Gets it to Peterson at the top of the key. I'm locking this offense, but the defense, Hammetry's three is up. The defense was good. I like the set that Spyro was running. But Wattsboro defended it well. Ward over to the wing. Three is up and in. Nothing but nylon for number four, Rhett Hunter. And we have a timeout by Spyro. 30-second timeout. All right, action's resumed. Spyro has it. Hammondtree gets to Robbins. Back to Hammondtree. Over to Peterson. Whitesboro's going with the 2-2-1 press. Cross court pass to Reed. Looking down to Riggs. Now it's back out to Peterson. He thought about driving. He pulled it out. Goes with left. Now back to the right. Over to Robbins. To Hammondtree. Into the high post. It's Reed. Shots up and out. Rebound goes to Ward. Ward has, still has a top post jumper is good. Now five Wattsboro Bulldogs have scored to combine for 14 points here in the first quarter. Riggs cross court pass to Robbins back to Hammontree. Peterson. Back to Riggs in the corner who has not moved. 
Now Robbins, he drives. Quick stop. Now Riggs will drive himself, put up a floater, no good. Rebound Ward. Ward has racked up the rebounds in this first quarter. Can Cannon. Now it's short corner. I think that's Hewitt. His shot's off the front of the rim, no good. Loose rebound ends up in the hands of Riggs. Now he gets it to Peterson. A minute 25 left in the first quarter. Both teams will have subs coming in on the next whistle. Now a corner. Hammondtree's three is up and in. He has five. 14 to seven. Ken Cannon walks it across the wolf. Goes left. He had, he could have had a screen either way. He chose left. Hewitt now down low to Ward. Shots up off the glass. No. Rebound Peterson. He's trying to push it up the court, but then he's going to stall it real quick. Hammondtree has it. High on the top of the key is Riggs. Robbins high arcing three again. No. 0 for 3 for 3 is Robbins. Gabe Perez checks in, and Xander Riggs. So both Riggs are in for Spyro, and number 30, McKinney Thompson, checks in for the Wattsboro Bulldogs. Wattsboro is going to wait for the last shot. 20 seconds left in the quarter. It's Ken Cannon. Perez is letting him dribble it. 14 seconds. He's going he's gonna to get a screen. High post. Now he's got it to the new kid on the block. And it's going to be a whistle and a foul on the floor. It's going to be the second team foul. No, that's the, that's the first team foul for Spyro. Yeah. Five seconds. Kincannon puts it up. Out. Still loose. And it's going to be rebounded by... Riggs, and that'll be the quarter. It's Wattsboro 14, Spyro 7 after 1. Wattsboro with the possession arrow after the quarter break. It's going to be Ken Cannon. He's going to get the double head tap screen. Jace Ward from three off the top of the key is no good. And it's going to go out of bounds and be Spyro's ball. Now that block out from Hammondtree right there looked similar to the offensive foul that was called in the girls game. So, yeah, it was... It was the same type of it was offensive foul. Moving screen was called. Now Riggs has it. Top of the key, Perez. There's a cutting Riggs. Good cut pass. And he's going to go to the line and shoot two. It's going to go against Thompson. And Riggs knocks in the first free throw. That was the first free throw attempt for either team tonight. Second one's out. Ball's loose. It's going to end up in the hands of Wattsboro as it was Johnson with the rebound. 
Ward has it. Controlling traffic. Now gets it to Hunter. He's got a screen. Now gets one-on-one -on, -one on the baseline. He cuts it towards the middle. And he – see, that was Johnson picked by Hammontree. And Hammontree with a lay-in. He's got seven of Spyro's ten tonight. It's 14 to 10. Ward has it. Thought about shooting it from the top of the key. And he gets it to Kincannon. He thinks about shooting it. He's going to shoot it. And it's off. Rebound by the Spyro Bulldogs. And Peterson jogs it up the court. But he's going to set something up. And it's Xander Riggs with it now. Cross court pass to Hammontree. His shot's up. His shot's in. Just like that, he has 10 points. It's 14-13. Wattsboro leads it. But Spyro has a little bit of momentum right now. Then Cannon, now it's in the corner. Looking for a cut. He gets a kick out. And Rhett Hunter is going to pull it out. It's going to get a look like a screen, but then Ward says, no, just take it. And he's shots up and no good. Spyro has made Wattsboro take some tough shots after this quarter break. Like every shot Wattsboro's put up has been a tough look. And there's a tough look for Riggs, but it goes in. He's got five points. Spyro takes their first lead of the night. Rhett Hunter looking for somebody. Gets it to Ward. Cannon. He's going to drive, and it, that should have been a travel. Is a two-point basket for Cannon. You're supposed to land with both feet, and he landed on one, crossed over to the other, which is a travel violation. He got away with it, and he got two points out of it, and the lead back for Wattsboro. Amateur three is up. He's going to keep shooting because he's made two out of four now. Ward from the baseline. He's fouled and won. Jace Ward. It looks like the foul is going to go against Braden Riggs. Uh, Matthew Finley has checked in for Spyro. And Ward connects on the three-point play to stretch the lead to four. Riggs has it. Gets it to Perez. Perez drives, and he's fouled. We'll see if it's on the floor or a shot. He was up in the air. But they're, they're going to say it was on the floor. Baxter, who just came in for Wattsboro, picked up the foul. So he's making quick work of getting on the scorecard. He's got a steal right now. Ken Cannon going up against Riggs. That's a smart pull-up. However, he missed it. Rebound Hewitt. He's fouled and won. Hewitt gets the basket and the foul. Riggs picks up his second foul. Both fouls were on and ones. The three-point play is good as Hewitt has seven. And just like that, Spyro cut the lead and even took the lead. But Wattsboro took it back and stretched it out significantly. Perez has it. Gets it over to Robbins. Robbins goes with the left hand. He comes down on both feet, puts up a shot, no good. Rebound goes to Ward, who's been tearing it up down there. For rebounds, Hewitt has it. Gets it. Well, I thought it was going to Ward, but he gets it to Baxter instead. There was a cut in Kincannon. No, no sorry, I apologize. It was Johnson. Kincannon for three. Bang. Caden Kincannon picks up his second three-pointer of the game. He has eight. We have a 30-second timeout by Spyro as it is 25-15.
All right, so after the timeout for Spyro, it's Robbins, Perez, Riggs, Riggs, and Finley. For Whitesboro, it's number 33, Bexter. Ward, Ken Cannon, number four, Rhett Hunter, and a three from Spyro is no good. Rebounded by Bexter. And uh, number 22, Ryan Hewitt, makes the fifth man for Wattsboro. And he has it in the high post, gets it to Ward. Ward pulls up from 19 feet, and it's good. A long two. Riggs has it, gets it to Perez. Looking for a cutter. He's good. He has it. Finley kick out. Robbins, three. No good. He is 0 for 4 tonight from 3. Then Cannon. Guarded by Perez. Over to Ward. Pulls at the corner 3. No, off the back of the rim. Rebound goes to Riggs. He's going to bring it up himself. He's a point center, what I like to call. He's going right into the lane. P- puts up a shot high off the glass, and it's in. That ends a 13 to nothing run that Wattsboro had going. The three, no. Rebound in the corner is Baxter. Cross court pass King Cannon. Now Ward in the high post. Dribbles once, puts up a shot, and in. Jace Ward has nine. Spyro's got four people ready to check in at the scores table. My guess is Riggs is the one that's not coming out. And we've got a whistle out of bounds that's going to go off of Riggs. That, that, was a, that was a good educated guess right there. Everybody but Riggs comes out of the game for Spyro. It's 29-17, two minutes to go till halftime. Then Cannon's got it, gets it across half court. Goes left, gets in the corner, and a drive, but before the drive was a travel violation. And the Spyro fans are happy they called the a travel. And now Peterson has it after coming off the bench after getting a breather. There is one person in foul trouble, and it's Riggs who has the ball right now. He has two. Nobody else has two or even three. Uh, Riggs, two-point basket's good. And it's clear that Spyro needs him on the court right now as he has nine points. Him and Braden Hammontree are the only two Bulldogs to score tonight. Ken Cannon gets it into the hands of Hunter. Now Ward in the corner goes against Riggs. It's probably smart trying to get that third foul here in the second quarter. Now a lob down to Hewitt. He lost control of it. And it's going to be Spyro's basketball. A minute to go. Ten-point game. Spyro's got the ball. And we have a drive and a handoff back to Peterson. Now Reed has it, looking for a pass, gets it to Riggs. Oh, there was a cutter wide open. And now there's going to be a, close to a turnover, but it's going to go out of bounds. It'll still be Spyro's ball. Uh, corner three is up and in. Connor Reed gets on the scoreboard for Spyro. It's 29-22. Bulldogs lead the Bulldogs. Hunter has it. Back to Ken Cannon. They're going to stall for the last shot like they did earlier in the first quarter. Hunter has it guarded by Peterson. Peterson's getting tight. And swing it over. It's Baxter. Back to Ken Cannon. Back to Hunter. Eight seconds. He looks at the clock. He knows how much time's left. Reed comes storming after him. It's going to be the fourth team foul. So no worries about a free throw. No bonus. 5.3 seconds to get the shot off. They get it to Ken Cannon. 
He's got one. Now he crosses over. Puts up a shot off the rim. And that's going to be the half. It's 29-22. Wattsboro leads Spyro for the third place in County.
Welcome back to second half action here in Hevener, Oklahoma. It is a bulldog battle between Wattsboro and Spyro. As Wattsboro leads it 29-22 and a turnover right immediately from Spyro. And Wattsboro wants to go fast. Ward to the baseline. Swings it to nobody besides Riggs. And Riggs is going to be fouled. And we're going to say it's going to go against Kincannon. Caden. Kincannon's first foul. Braden Riggs at the line shooting two. He had nine points in the first half. So now he has double digits. Him and Hammontree are tied with ten right now. And Connor Reed had a three-pointer. And that's all Spyro scoring right there is those three. Those three fellas. Wattsboro spread out their scoring, and Jace Ward led them with nine. Caden Kincannon had eight. Ryan Hewitt had seven. Those were their top three scorers. And now Ward has it over to Hunter. Brett Hunter gets it over in the hands of Johnson. Now back to Kincannon. Hunter's shot is up. It's off the front of the rim. He gets his own rebound. Kincannon to the high post, down low, Ward, two points. Hamtree's going to bring it up. He's going to be guarded by Kincannon. Now Reed back to Hamtree over to Peterson. Peterson held scoreless in the first half. He drives right at the basket, puts up a wild shot, and it's no good. But Spyro gets to the board, and he's going to go to the line and shoot two is Braxton Peterson. Two quick fouls for Wattsboro. Ken Cannon, both of them on Ken Cannon this second or this third quarter. Peterson on the scoreboard for the Bulldogs. It's 31-24, and he nails both of them. Thirty-one twenty-five. Wattsboro's going with the double screen. We got a roll and a pop. Hunter got it on the pop. Now Hewitt, now high post award. Shots up. A fade away from the high post. Is left short. Peterson has it. Let's see which team can gather the early momentum here in the third quarter. As it feels like Spyro right now. Let's see. Peterson in the corner looking for Riggs. He was face guarded and back guarded. But he gets two points. Peterson could only throw it in one spot, and that's exactly where he put it. It's four-point game. Ken Cannon's going to walk it up. Spyro has switched to a 2-3 zone. That could be how they defend this Whitesboro Bulldog team. And Hewitt with a spinning and a hook, and it goes in. Ryan Hewitt gets on the scoreboard the second half. He has nine now. Peterson over to Reed. Reed almost lost it. Gets a screen. Now he's at the high post looking at Robbins. Now down low. It's a bad pass, but he gets it back. A three for Peterson. No. Rebounded by Hunter. Up court pass to Hewitt to Ward. He's fouled. He'll go to the line. He'll shoot two free throws. Ethan Robbins picks up his first personal foul. Ward's first free throw is no good. He is now one for two. He was successful on an M1 in the second quarter. Second free throw is good. And it feels like the pace has slowed really down. Robbins on the drive. Scoop layup is no good. Rebounded by Kincannon. Now we'll pick up some tempo. Kincannon. Now it's oh, almost stolen by Hammontree. And they're going to say it was out of bounds off Hammontree. 
And Wattsboro's got it. Ken Cannon. Over to Hunter. Now in the corner. Jace Ward for a three. No. Rebound Reed. Now Hammondtree has it. He goes past Ken Cannon. Now they got numbers. Peterson's got it. He could go baseline. He pulls it back into the corner. Over to Reed. Back to Hammondtree. To Robbins. There's three Spiral Bulldogs in the semicircle. They, now they get it clear. Riggs. In the corner. Connor Reed for three. Yes. He's got six, two three-pointers, and now it's 34-30. Halfway through this third quarter, the intensity has leveled up a bit. A three for Wattsboro is no good. Rebound by Braden Riggs. Robbins is going to bring it up, and now he's going to slow it down. Over to Hammond Tree. Now Reed in the corner. High post. Now Riggs laying to the layup. No good. Peterson's put back no good. Now his put back of his own shot's no good. Rebound Hewitt. And they're yelling at him to get back. There's no reason to foul that far away from the basket. Although he has zero fouls, so a quick steal could have sparked some momentum. What looked like would be a shot turned into a pass. Now Hunter has it to Ward at the high post. He's double teamed. Almost lost it. Gets in the corner. Now down low. The reverse layup. And now a pivot in a basket. Peterson brings it across half court. Now Reed. He's going to put up a three again. No. Rebound goes to Ward. Ward up court pass to Hewitt. Now back to Ward. Ken Cannon, corner three. Bang. That was set up perfectly. And a good pass by Ward to get it into the shooting pocket. It's a nine-point game. Robbins didn't want it. He gave it immediately back to Peterson. Peterson stops him, spins around him, puts up a basket, and puts it in. Ken Cannon gets it to Hunter. Hunter's down low. Hewitt dribbles at once on a power dribble. No good. Loose rebound to Hewitt. Missed it again. Now Braden Riggs is going to clear it out. He's going to hand it to Peterson. Peterson could have gone up court. Now he does go up court to Robbins. Robbins shuffled the feet a little bit. No call. Now Riggs put back is no good. It's going to be Wattsboro's ball. Ken Cannon has it. Throws up a lob to Hewitt, and it's good. A perfect pass. Perfect pass to Ryan Hewitt. Stretches the lead again. Now it's a nine-point game. Robbins wanted to do what he did earlier, get it immediately back to Peterson. Now he's gonna, Riggs is going to put up a high post. Nice shot. Braden Riggs. He is Spyro's leading scorer. He has 14 points tonight. Hunter for three. No, off the back of the rim. And there's going to be a whistle and a foul. It's going to go against Wattsboro. Number 11, Kyle Johnson is going to pick up his first foul. Perez. Perez checks in. Xander Riggs checks in. And number 25, Landry Gist comes in for Spyro. Hammondtree's walking it up right now. Watts Bros sticking with their man-to-man defense. Their girls also played man-to-man defense. Same coach, and then Perez shuffles his feet. It's going to be a travel violation. Same coach for Watts Bros, boys and girls. So, And it's the same defense, too. So, 55 seconds left in the third quarter. Ken Cannon pump fakes from the ear. Now Ken Cannon in the corner. His three is up and in. He's got four three-pointers on the game. And he's got 14 points on the game. He's also made a two-pointer, so that's the math right there. Quick maths. 
Perez has it. Over to Peterson. He goes left, spins right, up and under. M1, Braxton Peterson. Johnson picks up the personal foul. Two quick fouls for him. And Spiro's going to set up a press because they took out Gist and put Perez in for the rebound. It's for the press. And no, they are not. Then I do not understand that, but I don't have to. 44, 37, 16 seconds. And just like the previous two quarters, Whitesboro is stalling for the last shot. Then Cannon spins, gets it to Ward. Ward shots up from the high post. No, rebound loose. The putback was almost good. Now one second, and that's going to be the quarter. If that pass was good, Peterson could have got the shot up. Anyhow, it's 44 for Wattsboro, 37 for Spyro going to the last quarter. Okay, final regulated quarter for this third place LaFleur County Tournament men's game between Wattsboro and Spyro. Ken Cannon pulls up from 40 feet and passes it to Hunter. Gets it in the hands of Johnson. Back to Hunter. High post ward. Now he's double teamed. Ken Cannon for three. He's hot. And now that's off to the right. Rebounded goes to Peterson of Spyro. Ooh. He's getting away with a little bit of a carry violation. Now, Hammond tree for three. Left it short. Rebound goes to Wattsboro. It was Johnson with the rebound. Ken Cannon has it. Braden Riggs is going to come into the game on the next whistle after taking a breather. He has kept Spyro in this game. Down low pass is knocked out of bounds. Riggs comes in, and number 15, I don't have a 15, Shackelford comes in, he was not on my list, King Cannon for three, left it short, and it's going to be a jump ball, it's going to be Spyro's ball, it's going to be Spyro's ball on the jump ball. Perez is going to bring it up for Spyro. Shackelford has it. Gets it to Xander Riggs. Over to Perez. Three is up and out. Off the backboard. Rebound Xander Riggs. Gets it to Braden Riggs. Almost stolen by Ken Cannon, but now he puts up a shot. Rebound by Ken Cannon. And he's going to go right past Hammondtree and score a layup. Hammond tree goes right at Ken Cannon, and we're, he's going to dribble it out of bounds. It's going to be a turnover, and Wattsboro is going to take the ball over, leading by nine. Ken Cannon's got it on the wolf. This is for third place in the county tournament. 
Wattsboro girls had just won the third place over Hevener, 45-41. We have a whistle and a foul. It's going to go against Riggs. Braden Riggs picks up his third foul. Jace Ward's first free throw falls out. He is now two for four. And now he's three for five. And Perez is going to sprint it up the court. And now slow it down, but quick passing. Shackelford has it. He goes right to the elbow. Rebound, Braden Riggs. He's posting up, gets it to Xander Riggs. Now in the corner. It's Peterson. We have a foul. It's going to go against number 30 for Whitesboro, McKinney Thompson. Ten-point game. Spyro trails. Shackelford puts up a wild shot and falls in the hands of Ken Cannon. High post. Now kick out. Hunter lost it but got it back. Ward looking for somebody. Gets it back to Hunter. Now Ken Cannon. Er, sorry. Rebound. Johnson gets it over to Thompson. Ken Cannon has it. Hunter thought about shooting it. Gets it to Ward in the corner. Now Ken Cannon has it in the corner. Over to Hunter. Five minutes and seven seconds left. Dump down Ward. Layup, no. Rebound Shackelford. Ward almost fouled under his own basket. Shackelford look, travels with it. An unforced error gets Wattsboro the ball back. And we're going to have a timeout. Full timeout. Spyro. All right, after the timeout, it's four minutes and 55 seconds left of ball game action in regulation. Ten-point game. And Spyro's going to double-team the pass. Now they're going to back off of it. Now a high post. Johnson back out. Ward has it. So interesting little tidbit. At the end of the first quarter, it was 14-7 to Wattsboro. After that, both teams have scored 15 points in the second quarter and 15 points in the third quarter, keeping Wattsboro's lead to seven. And now Wattsboro leads this quarter three to zero. Ward now to the corner. Three is up and off. Rebound King Cannon. He's going to back it out and almost threw it away. Now Ward has it going right at Riggs. Puts up a shot. It's out. Rebound goes to Brain. Braden Riggs, and Spyro is going to turn up the heat. Robbins has it, goes, puts up a layup, and it falls out. Put back from Riggs is no good. Rebound goes to Wattsboro, and it's going to be King Cannon bringing it up. Going right at Peterson, and he's going to be fouled by Peterson. That's going to be Spyro's third team foul.
Hewitt checks back in for Whitesboro. Ward has it going against Riggs. He goes right past Riggs, kicks it out to Hewitt, now swings it to Hunter. They're not going to take any bad shots, it seems like. They are worried about taking the best shot for them. Hunter has it. Double team. Now he gets it to Hewitt. Hewitt puts up a layup. It falls out. Rebounded by Hewitt. He rebound again. Hewitt has two quick rebounds, and he's going to go free throw line to shoot two. Ryan Rogers, who checked in during the timeout, gets his first foul. Hewitt's first free throw is good. He has 14 points, looking for 15. No, he's going to stay at 14 for the time being. Rebound goes to Wattsboro. Hewitt down low. Almost lost it. Rebound goes to Peterson. And Spyro's yelling at him to go, go, go. Rogers has it. Not looking to score at all. He gets it to Peterson. Goes right at, I believe that was Johnson. And we have a timeout. So basket and a timeout for Spyro. Okay, after the timeout, Spyro has one timeout remaining. Wattsboro has all five of theirs with a nine-point lead. They break the press. Oh, it wasn't very. Um, Hewitt has a wide-open layup. All right. So that's what I was saying. It wasn't a hard press to break. Peterson has it top of the key over to Robbins. He drives, and he travels. Spyro's going to apply some more pressure, but Reed does not come after Hewitt. Now there's a double team. Hammondtree lands on Hewitt and almost a turnover, but a nice high jumping catch by Johnson. They're trying to double team everything. Hammondtree is going to come after Kincannon and foul him. A minute 53 left on the clock. That's the fifth team foul. Hammondtree's first. Spyro's got to foul two more times to get Wattsboro in the bonus. Although with an 11-point differential, you got to wonder when it's too much. Riggs guarded, guarding Ward. He picks up his dribble, gets it to Hunter. And the pass down to Ward. Goes out of bounds, knocked out by Riggs. Kincannon's going to inbound it for, for Whitesboro. Gonna, and we have a timeout, Whitesboro. 30-second timeout for the Bulldogs. That's their first.
Inbounds pass to Hunter. Successful. Now Ward has it going against Riggs. They're going to double team him if they ever get a chance. Now Hewitt has it, gets it back to Ward. Down low, Ken Cannon. And he's going to be fouled by Hammontree. And it was on the floor as he never put a shot up. So it's going to be inbounds underneath. If he would have tried to shoot it, he'd have got some free throws out of it. But that's true. Hammontree almost went down awkward. He's fine. And inbounds to Hewitt. And he's fouled, so he will go to the line because they are in the bonus. We'll see if it was on the shot or not. Yes, they're going to say it was shooting. Connor Reed picks up the foul. And he knocks in the first one. He is three of four tonight from the line. And he misses the second. Peterson has it. Minute 20 left to go. Robbins pulls up from 14. No good. Rebound is Whitesboro's. And we got a minute nine seconds. Reed guarding Hewitt. Now Ward triple teamed. Hewitt layup no good. Popped up in the air. Peterson up to Reed. It's him versus Hunter. Goes right at him. Shots up and in. Connor Reed. And Spyro calls our final timeout. Yeah, full timeout. On the inbounds, Hunter gets it to Hewitt. Back to Hunter. Up court pass to Ward. It's two on two. Ken Cannon. And he traveled with it. So 40 seconds, 10 point game. It's not impossible. Peterson has it. Goes right. Reed puts up the three. No. Rebound Riggs, his two-point basket's good. Spyro cannot call any timeouts. They are out of timeouts. And we have a timeout Whitesboro. 23 seconds. And we'll see if it's a full or a 30. They have either. Okay. Watsboro gets it in quickly to Kincaid, and Spyro is trying to double it. They still have they have not fouled. Now the pass up to Ward is going to go out of bounds. It's going to be Spyro's ball. 15 seconds left, eight-point game. Spyro's not going down without a fight. Peterson's got it. 13 seconds. Robbins. 
loses it, and it, that's going to do it. And well, Reed's going to foul. It's going to be his third foul. And going to the line will be Rhett Hunter. He has three points tonight, but he's been crucial in the game of making good passes and keeping Wattsboro in check. The free throw is good. Second free throws out. Seven seconds. Peterson's got it. Puts up a three, and he's swatted by Kincannon. And that's going to do it. So the final score will be Wattsboro 52, Spyro 43. The Wattsboro Bulldogs and the Lady Bulldogs both claim third place in the 2021 LaFleur County Tournaments. Wattsboro, the number 11 ranked team in Class B, comes away with third place. Leading scorer for Wattsboro was Ryan Hewitt. He had 17 points, 10 coming in the last half. Jace Ward had 13. Ken Cannon had 16. Rhett Hunter had four, and Landon Causal had two. For Spyro, Braden Riggs had 16. Brandon Hammontree had 10. They were all in the first half. Braxton Peterson had nine all in the second half, and Connor Reed finished with eight. So that's going to wrap it up here on a Saturday afternoon. Third place games are a wrap. The finals, I believe, are going on right now at Howe between the Lady Lions and the Lady Indians. And that'll do it. We'll see you next time here in Hevener.